So, gotta make my coffee because I look tired as shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell right next to it. That way you don't miss any new videos. As you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking business. Um, a lot of you have DM me, commented on my last video, or not my last video, but my, my lip gloss video asking me about permits, how much permits cost, where can I get my permits, um, all of this stuff. So I'm gonna be sharing with you how I legally opened my business up here in Texas. A little disclaimer, I am not an expert and I just opened my business last year. I didn't really start selling items until maybe four or five months ago. So everything I say, take with a grain of salt. Um, this is kind of like just to guide you um, in, in the right direction as far as you know, knowing, hey, what steps should I take? Where should I look? Um, so if you're interested in this video, please keep watching. To start, you're gonna wanna choose two to three names that you like. And then from there, you're going to take the number one name that you like and search godaddy.com to see if that domain is taken. Um, you don't have to use GoDaddy. There's other websites for domains, but I use GoDaddy specifically. So you just go on there, see if your domain name is taken. If it is not, the second thing you're gonna wanna do is check all social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, any platform that you plan on using and make sure that that name is not already taken. And then the third thing, you're gonna wanna do a assumed name search. This is gonna let you know if there's any businesses out there using um, the name that you wanna use or similar and if, everything passes, everything is good, no one has your name, you're gonna wanna file for a DBA, a doing business as name. Um, if you don't wanna use your legal first and last name, you should file for a DBA. For example, I don't use my first and last name for my business, my DBA is Lux Cherry. You can file this with your county clerk or at your county website. I live in Tarrant County, so I just went on tarrantcounty.com. They have a little section where it says, I want to do this or I want to apply for, and I just went to assumed names. This um, only costs $20. They have a form online that you can print out and fill. Um, I also had to get this notarized. So it was $15 to get it notarized. I'm gonna grab my hair. It was only $15 to get it notarized. I went to UPS for this. You wanna make sure that you bring your ID with you. Um, the whole reason of getting this notarized is to prevent like fraud and make sure that it's actually you who is filing for this fictitious name. Um, that was really quick. I literally went up to UPS, was like, hey, I need to get this notarized. The guy was like, okay, I'll be back. And then they have like a certain person who's certified to notarize stuff. So um, he just asked me for my ID, um, everything checked out. He signed it, I paid, I left. And then from there I mailed off the paperwork. It took about eight days to come back and everything was filed and good to go. So for the second step, you're going to want to go to irs.gov and apply for your EIN, which is your employer identification number. Um, on there, it's going to ask you what your business structure is, like if you're a sole proprietor, if you're a partnership, an LLC, you know, all that, you know, whatever. <coughs> I mean, it's not whatever, but you know, whatever structure your business is. I'm a sole proprietor just because I'm a small business and I'm not trying to be a corporation right now. I don't, I'm a sole proprietor. Um, also, what they're gonna ask you when you fill out your um, an application for EIN is your first and last name, your social security number, your phone number, your address, and your doing business as name. So that's why it's important to um, file your DBA before this. 
you're gonna need this specifically for things like paying your employees, tax returns, stuff like that. For the third, the third step is you're going to need a seller's permit here in Texas. That is called a Texas sales and use tax permit. I got this for free. Um, it was really easy to fill out, like kind of like the same thing as the EIN. I got this at, um, let me see. I got this at comptroller.texas.gov. Literally, there's a link that says apply for a Texas um, for sales tax permit. I went to that and it brought up a application that I had to fill out. You're gonna need this for things like buying wholesale. Um, so if you get like from Fashion Go, they're gonna ask you for your seller's permit. Um, if you go to trade shows, they're gonna ask you for your seller's permit. So this is what you need in order to buy wholesale um, and pay state taxes. Last but not least, I had to get a home-based business registration. Um, basically, I had to file with the city to let them know that I was doing business in my home. Um, there's guidelines and regulations that you have to follow. Um, for me, um, since I'm home home-based business, basically, um, I filed saying that I'm a computer-based business, that I'm not advertising outside my home. I don't have people coming in and out of my home. Um, my business does not take up a certain certain percentage of my home. Um, And basically, that was all I had to do. For me, um, some of these steps felt like almost moving mountains, and it's totally the opposite. It's like once you do one thing, then you do the next, and then you do the next, and then you do the next, and then before you know it, you're finished. Um, all of these, a majority of these, well, basically, yeah, all of these, I did online from home, and I mailed everything off. The only thing that I left my house for was to get it to get my DBA notarized. Um, and like I said, that only took like five minutes. So everything was really fast and quick. Um, so I just encourage you to just take the first step and then from there, just keep going. Um, because before you know it, you'll have a legal, legit business for less than $50, which is pretty crazy. Um, so, I hope that this kind of helped you out a little bit. This was like very short and quick, like to the point. If you have any more questions on anything else, I can try to help you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my video.